So today we will be doing a review on the Lego Atlantis robot thing that transforms. I think it's about like forty dollars or something like that. It comes with a serpent, a sea serpent looking thing. The robot and if I'm not wrong the diver Paul Bunyan worm. I don't know if that's focusing or not. Look at any other Lego that has had two faces, scared and happy. So, it comes with the red Atlantis key, which I don't have with me right now. And it's around 357 full pieces. Yeah, 57 pieces, 357 pieces. Um, now I'll start off with the sea serpent. So, as you can see, this thing's pretty long. The tail is on a ball pivot joint. Um, so it has a lot of movement on the tail. All these, there are about 10 of them, they're pretty, they move a lot. They can move as one or as separate. The mouth is just on, you have to move up and down yourself. The eyes on this thing. Looks very cool though. Two normal fins. So, uh, it's pretty good. Do the main thing is the Lego Atlantis robot thing. Um, there's a propeller on the back, two right here, one, two. As you can see, there's like two tubes, lead to each arm. The feet are on a ball pivot joint, so they have a lot of movement. The thing can, the legs do move up and down and side to side. Both legs do that. The arms do the same. They have, they can move like that. One of the coolest things about this is it, this little weapon right here. What you do is you kind of just take it and you kind of shoot like that. As you can see, it goes very, very fast. Yeah. I'm going to bring in this lava golem, and I'm going to shoot him with it. You see, it hits, and the thing's pretty strong itself. The up and down windshield with the driver will go right here. They can go in with their suit on. There is the hand for grabbing the sea serpent or the key. Through the top. It does transform. To make it transform, you kind of just move the leg, the feet back like that. Just pull that back. Hold like they're straight. And, oops, sorry, this piece fell. And uh, that's more of a like, battle tank mode. That's more of a like, like, battle tank mode. But if you want, you straighten everything out. And you can just kind of move it back like that. And then you have just like the sea, like a seabed tank that just moves on the water. Oh, and it also has two flick missiles up here as well. Two flick missiles. These are supposed to be lights, I think. All this you see, right here, these, this stuff right here, it's just stickers. The sea serpent went on the sea serpent as well as are just stickers. There's little markings. Mm. Alright, it was a good p pr price to piece value. Too. And overall, this looks pretty good. I mean, it has a lot of playability. It would look actually pretty cool in animation, I'm thinking. I think it would. It's reasonable, see? Yeah, it's a lot of Overall, I just think this is probably one of my favorite sets in the Atlantis series, which I enjoy a lot. 
It's only because it comes with a nice looking robot thing that has guns and a hand and a nice cool very flexible tail tail sea serpent thing. So until next time, remember to comment, subscribe and well whatever. So I'll probably be posting another video next time I guess a new set.